Hi, so I've been talking to Jelly. Look at Jelly's outfit. He's pretending he's a whale today. That's his spout. He's blowing air out of his spout on top of his head. So we've been talking about ocean, the ocean, Jelly and I. So I want to show you a couple pictures before we start our day about the ocean. Now, I don't know how many of you have been to the ocean, but it's a great place to go. Now, there's a lot that you can't see because it's under the water. So here's a picture of the ocean. Those words say the ocean. The ocean has water. It's made out of water and waves. How many of you have seen the waves crash onto the shore? The ocean has plants that grow on the bottom like a garden and it has animals. The ocean has rocks and sand. The ocean has coral, animals called coral, and fish. Everything underneath the water that we can't see. The ocean has shells, fossils, and sometimes hidden treasure. So this week we're going to be talking all about the ocean. So I just wanted to show you that before we started our day. Are you guys ready to welcome God into our day? Here we go. Hmm. Last week we started with counting down. So this week we're going to start by counting up. Here we go. So Superman arms because we're feeling very, very strong. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Blast off! It's Monday, Lord, and it's a beautiful day. It's Monday, Lord, I'm going your way. Open my eyes and help me see someone who needs a friend just like me. Cause I know that I can surely be loving, caring, always sharing. You can share. I know you can. It's Monday, Lord, and it's a beautiful day. It's Monday, Lord, I'm going your way. Every time I sing that song, I imagine you sitting here. I sure miss you guys. I miss you. You are my friends and I am missing you. I hope that everybody's well. So let's welcome God. Jesus, be with our hands today that we would be loving and kind and sharing. Be with our words that we would speak words of love and kindness. We just ask that you be with our ears that we would listen to others' ideas and obey. And we just thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so we are still in the month of, does anybody remember? It begins with an M, and M says mm. May. This word here says May. We're in the month of May. Now let's take a look. We are on day 18. Can you believe it? Day 18. Do you think we can count that far? We've been practicing all year, and I know we can do it. So here we go, we're gonna start on the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. And 18 looks like this, a one followed by an eight, 18. Do you hear that word eight in that? 18. Hmm. So let's take a look at our pattern. We started with a sailboat. We'll move down here though. So sailboat, B, raindrop, sailboat, B, is it going to be? 
not a bee. We already have a bee. We already have a sailboat. So it must be a raindrop. A raindrop. There we go. Let's slide that raindrop in here. So today is Monday. That word says Monday, May 18th, 2020. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So if today is Monday, yesterday was Sunday. And if today is Monday, tomorrow will be a day that starts with a T. T, T, Tuesday, Tuesday. I think you guys remember all about the days of the week because we've been talking about it all year long too. We have learned so much this year, so much. Well, it's mail time and our mailbox is ready. It's all filled and ready. So I'm going to scooch up here and we're going to talk about our letter of the week. Our letter of the week. Let me grab those out. Oh, I have a friend in my class whose name begins with this letter. Anybody know what letter that is? It's a Y, and there's an uppercase Y, and here's a lowercase Y. See how it slants? This line here stands up tall with two arms that reach into a, the sky. Looks like it's going, ah. This one has a tail that points down. Y, let's see what begins with the letter Y. Hmm, ooh, this, is pointing at the yellow part in the middle. We, this is an egg, but the yellow part is called a y. Yolk, a yolk. That word right there, yolk. Let's see. Oh, how many of you know what color that is? What color is that? That kind of reminds me of a patch of honey. Yellow, yellow, there's our Y, yellow. Let's look at this person. It's got some lines coming out of its mouth. That's supposed to mean like it's really loud. He's not talking. He's ye yelling. Ah! Yell. Yell begins with Y. Oh, look at this little girl. She looks very tired. She kind of looks mad, but it's supposed to be a y. Yeah. Look at her mouth. A yawn. Yawn begins with the letter Y. Yawn. Now, we might think this is a cow or an ox, but he begins with the letter Y. This guy's a yak. Yak. That's kind of a fun word to say. Yak. Yuckety yak. Yak. And I wonder how many of you have ever played with this toy. This is a string and it's got two round pieces on either side of the string and it goes up and down. It's called a yeah. yo yo. A yo yo. Yo yo's are kind of hard to control. Even as a, an adult, Mrs. Bose has a hard time working a yo yo. They are challenging. Yo yo. So those are our Y words for this week. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about some ocean animals that have Y in them. All right, now let's do our Y song. Let's take a look before we start it though. Let's take a look. Look, uppercase Y, there's our lowercase Y. Arms to the sky, tail to the ground. So here's a Y. This word says you. This word says yams. Yams are kind of like a potato. Let me see this picture right there. They are kind of an orangey brown on the outside and inside they're an orange color, a light orange color. Yams, and they're sweet. And a lot of people eat yams at Thanksgiving. 
But this person says, yes, I love yams. So yams are yummy. Did you know that yummy is a Y word? It is. All right, so here we go. Let's, it's to if you're happy and you know it. If you think the yams are yummy, yell up yes. Yes. If you think the yams are yummy, yell up yes. Yes. If you think the yams are yummy, yell up yes and rub your tummy. If you think the yams are yummy, yell up yes. Yes. She obviously thinks yams are yummy. Should we do it one more time? Here we go. If you think the yams are yummy, yell up yes. Yes. If you think the yams are yummy, yell up yes. Yes. If you think the yams are yummy, yell up yes. yes. And rub your tummy. If you think the yams are yummy, yell up yes. 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 That was Mr. Bose singing. Mr. Bose, do you actually think yams are yummy? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Bose thinks yams are yummy. All right, everyone stand up because we are ready for a shake break. And we are gonna do one of your favorites today. We're gonna do Baby Shark. Are you guys ready? Get your baby shark ready. Ooh, I got my shark bin ready. that shake break. I hope you like that shake break. So I'm going to show you some pictures of whales because our project today is all about whales. There are so many different kind of whales. Did you guys know that? So many. Some are very, very large. And I'm going to show you a picture of how different kinds of whales. Look at this guy. He's coming up out of the water. Ooh, hello. He's coming up out of the water. There's his fin, there's his mouth. Let's see, ooh, this is called an orca. An orca. Look how he's white and black. So underneath, if a fish is below him, he can't see him because he's white on the belly. Mm, look at this one. We're getting a picture of its fins here. Sorry, guys. Its fins. And there's its mouth coming out of the water. That's called breaching. Here's some fins. Look at the white water. He's in some waves. This one's coming out also. Oh, look at this one. Jumping out of the water. Again, that's an orca. Hmm. There's a blue whale coming up out, or a humpback. I can't quite tell from that. Lots of orca whales. There's one underneath. There's one underneath. He is so big. I wanted to show you a different picture. 
The blue whale is a whale that is so big, it's longer than three school buses. That's how big it can grow, longer than three school buses. If they were parked next to each other, could you imagine swimming in the ocean and bumping into a whale that was as long as three school buses? That's amazing, amazing. I wanna just show you. Did you know that whales breathe out of a hole on top of their head? They're called blowholes. Let's look at this picture here. This is a blowhole. This whale has one blowhole, one blowhole. Let's take a look. This whale has two, one there and one there. They're different types. This whale has teeth and this one has a hair-like teeth that it uses to get food, but not sharp teeth like ours. Look, this is the tail of a whale going down into the water. They're called flukes. Those are called flukes. Let's see. Look at this one. This one is coming up. There's its belly there. It's coming up out of the water and it's doing a backsplash. It's gonna land on its back. It's called breaching. Look, this one is coming up also. And then look at the giant splash it makes. Remember the orca whale that we saw? That's what it looks like coming towards you. See how it fin? Its fin comes out of the top when it's coming to the surface. So our project is all about whales today. All about whales. So I'm going to go get ready to show you our project and show you a few more pictures about whales. Okay, all right, see you soon.